Okay, so. I, uh, I've seen some people who are doing some stuff in Demon Parade who probably know who they are. But in general, I've noticed that there's some confusion around Demon Parade and what it's capable of and what you should be looking for. So there's a whole other side of things that I could get into in terms of you should be looking for this type of monster or you should be looking for this type of, uh, you know, I could go through an entire list, but that is its own set of research and its own thing that you should you should be looking up on your own, or that maybe I'll make a separate video about what's useful and what's not. But that said, I need to help you guys out with some with some demon parade and show you kind of what you're looking for. So there's a couple useful tools before you even enter Demon Parade that you should be aware of. First off, inviting a friend is very useful because it not only increases uh, uh, some extra sh uh, shards, um, but it also gives you hit rate bonuses, as it says at the top. The thing you should know is that there's only so many times that you can actually use a friend. I think it's about three times as from what I've seen, three, four times. And that's they can only be used that many times for the entire day, period. So what you'll notice is that some of your friends are down here in the bottom and they are grayed out. That means they've been used a specific number of times that day and can no longer be used again uh, by anyone. And so you'll just have to pick from who's actually in the green here. So we're going to take a look through here and we're going to go ahead and choose Lotus One. Right? So that's who we're going to choose. But you should also know about records because records tells you a lot about who's helping you out and who you're helping out a lot. So in here, it'll say that they'll show who the who's given me the most shards, and I I'm not certain whether or not this is lifetime or just this week, but I'm fairly certain it's just this week. Uh, or uh, oh, invitations in the last 15 days. It's almost it's like it's at the top. Uh, so uh, this is this is going to be who's helped you out the most in the last 15 days for specific categories, right? And then you can also see a record of who's gotten you what as you go down the menus here. And you can see specifically who's helped you out. Uh, you can give likes to anyone who's actually uh, helped you out, like so. Uh, you can actually go into their page, do anything you need from there, and this will tell you exactly what they got. Um, but it's pretty simple. I like to use this as a way of trying to figure out who I can reciprocate back to and figure out who I should be bringing to, uh, to, to thank them for, for helping me because there's a chance they get stuff. Okay, so we're entering. Uh, so we're gonna enter now, and in here you're gonna get a, a screen that has three different shikigami. You can choose which ones are gonna get bonuses. As you can see at the bottom, you get three times the shards when hitting the selected shikigami. Unfortunately, all of these are hot garbo, um, but these two are normal. And I, in general, I don't like going after normal. It's a waste of my time. This is at least an R, and even though she's terrible, I'm going to be able to shrine her for some tickets. So we're gonna go ahead and pick her. From there, you're looking for a couple different things. Personally, I like to go about eight beans. It helps increase your chances to get them, right? Uh, nope, not gonna get her. And it's, it's a little bit of a hit and miss kind of thing, right? But generally speaking, the higher they're ranking, the harder they are to hit. But you wanna try to make sure you're hitting things like these bonuses up here. Because it's going to allow you to have time to be able to hit these guys. So we're going to talk a little bit about the bonuses you get. Slow is pretty self-explanatory. It slows down how quickly they're actually moving through here. Freeze obviously just straight up freezes them in place. Then you have chance up. Chance up should be gotten as fast as possible whenever is possible. And you want to try to keep your, your beans into those tight windows where you have bonuses, right? Um, so when I have chance up, I'm going to make sure that I'm trying to hit as much stuff while it's there because those are going to be the most likely times that I'm going to hit something. You're also going to see assist up over here. Okay, so I'm going to hit assist up, and if you see, there's the other Onmyoji right over here. It's going to change the proc rate for how quick, how often an Onmyoji is actually going to help you out. Uh, let's just go ahead and go into another one here. Tomb Caver. Alright. 
Samurai X is very useful. These other two, that's a normal and a bad rare. Samurai X is who we're going to go for. So assist up and chance up are kind of your big rates, rate increases. Those are when you're going to actually get the most people. But in addition to that, you're going to have things like fast beans, which means that you have to ha lead less. If you're looking, I'm having to lead quite a bit because it takes forever to throw anything, and this is already going poorly for me. Like, I'm not capturing anything. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so, uh, so fast beans. So generally anything with blue just in increases movement rates, right? Freeze freezes them, slow slows them. Uh, fast beans allows you to throw them faster, so you have to ha you have to lead less. Why are you missing every one of these assist up? There we go. Okay, so we've gotten all through all the green and blue ones. There is also a couple red ones. Uh, one is got beans, which gives you additional beans in your counter here. Okay, that's the end of that one. I'm still waiting to see Got Beans in here. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to go with Tesso here. All right, so let's see if we can find ourselves a Got Beans. Tesso! Yeah, okay. And we'll show a thing at the end here as to, I just captured, you know, the one that I actually selected as my favorite, and I'll show you what that, what that changes in here. If we can ever get through to anything else. Oh, let's see what we got. Anything good so far? He's good for, um, counter AoE in PvP. Momo is a great healer, and we have slow and chance up. So spamming right now on any one of these is totally worth it. But I'm not going to get that lucky. Freeze. Might as well go after Yama if I can. No. I'm just going to let these go. See if we can see a Got Beans. It's kind of a bummer that we haven't seen any yet because Got Beans really extends how much you can really do in this. Oh, there we go. Got Beans. Bam. Bam. Okay, and I think that's, I, I said a couple, but I, I'm wrong on that. I believe it's actually just one red one, and that's got beans. Okay, so we got the favored one that one time over here. So you're going to see now, instead of the normal three for a rare, I actually have nine. So you have a set of stack of six here, and it only, it only ever, you ever see, you ever see. So basically it gives you a normal amount times two, and then it gives you a separate stack over here that's a stack. Um, so you'll essentially see one, two, three stacks compared to the single stack of three, single stack of three, normal single stack of four. Okay, so we're almost done here. But main key point so far is you have your blues, which are slow, fast beans, and freeze, all of which affect the movement of the beans or of the shikigami in the parade, right? And then you have your uh, greens, which affect the rates at which things proc, so your chance up and your assist up. And then the final ones uh, is, is got beans, which increases your actual bean count, allowing you to throw more more often. You wanna try to keep your, your throws into tight windows, and I've not been doing that well in this video, sorry, I, I'm trying to talk to the camera, so it's distracting me. But you wanna keep your throws into tight windows of when you have the highest chance ups and when you have any sort of other buffs going. The biggest thing to keep in mind is that the the more rare the Shikigami is, the the less likely that you are to even be getting the actual catch. So that means if you have an SSR that has no buff and you have no buffs uh, and you don't have the lantern above their head, which we're going to talk about in a second here, you might as well not even throw. You can if you want to, and, and some people say you absolutely should, but if you're almost always going to be wasting your uh, you're almost always going to be wasting your beans it's just that's the truth of the matter okay so there's one more mechanic that I want to talk about here uh, and that is uh, uh, tomb. 
There we go. And that is the lanterns. So a lot of people didn't understand the lanterns. I actually, for a while, was mistakenly saying that they were they were giving additional um, additional shards per hit. Like if you hit one, it normally gave three. Instead, would give four or something like that. It's completely wrong. I was talking out of my butt, which is pretty standard for me. What the lanterns do is they actually tell you that there's an increased chance to hit. Now, this is a terrible example because I'm still not hitting even with that increased. Oh, there we go. Uh, but it is true that in the background, you have an increased chance to get the ones that have a lantern above their head. Yep, yeah, see? Uh, I mean, I missed on the first one altogether. I was off to the side. Um, and at the time where you finally start getting like two sets of got beans, you can start spamming a lot more. Uh, come on. I'm just getting unlucky on this one, I guess. It's also not useful when the Onmyoji on the other side just doesn't proc for whatever reason and is getting rare chances to assist. It's a bummer, but it is what it is. Okay. <clears throat> So what you should notice, the final thing that I want to talk about in this little video, is what you should notice is there you can actually tell which uh, shards are being sent to the person that you pulled into the for the invite. So I invited Tomb Caver here, and Tomb Caver is giving none of these. He managed to help me catch this umbrella over here, so he is also going to get those shards. It's unfortunate that it was an umbrella; could have been something better, uh, but that is the case. It, so. You, if you're ever wondering what it is that you're actually sending to your friends, right? Look for this this symbol up in the top right corner, and that's going to tell you that they are also getting those shards. All right, guys. So that's going to basically do it. I just wanted to do a real quick one here to talk about this because I've seen so many questions around it, and people trying to figure out what what's the best way to handle it. And that's really, really, really pay attention to the buffs because there's a lot of times. Well, you're never going to hit an SR or an SSR if you don't have the buffs, if you don't have a slowdown mechanic happening, um, if you don't have a lantern above their head. And definitely, for sure, make sure every single time you do this, invite a friend in. It does absolutely nothing to you, right, uh, negatively, and gives only benefits. So every single time. And if you ever forget, that's it. You're screwed. You go in, you hit enter, you have spent that pass, and you are not allowed to invite a friend. So, always make sure to have it, invite friend, go in, try to hit all the buffs you can. The biggest ones, I think, personally, chance up and assist are some of the biggest deals. Everything else is a skill that you can work around. Um, you know, freeze, slow, fast beans, all of those are just how good are you at, at you know, you could go without those if you really wanted to. Uh, lanterns are always a big deal, so make sure you pay attention to those. Okay, real quick, that was it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. We'll probably do a video around what what monsters or shikis to look for on a different video. But for now, this should be a good chance for you to be able to know what you're actually looking for in Demon Parade. All right. Bye, guys.